Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beer Review. So today we're going back over to Lidl. Done a few from Lidl just recently for their Patronus. It is Lidl, isn't it? I, fucking, I forget, you know. Is it Aldi? It is Lidl. Uh, <laughs> You know when you're there and you think, uh, it's Audi or Lidl, but it is Lidl. I thought it was Lidl, but then I, then I, then I, then I thought, well, am I wrong? Um, so Patronus, Patronus, sounds like something from Harry Potter. Patronus rice beer, uh, nature, nature trouble, or whatever that says. Um, ABV, uh, Brewed, it, brewed according to the German Purity Law, Little Great Britain, wit beer, 5% volume. That's what I was looking for. So, pick this up around about £1.79 for the bottle um, and a few other beers at the time. Nice pop of smoke on there. You can just see the remnants of that. Put it in the, uh, the tulip glass. It looks, it reminds me of uh, Erdinger and also Wahan Stefana. I thought I want to buy another new pajama. Yeah. And there we go. Big, easy, cloudy, orangey looking pour with a good carbonation going off and a big white head on there. And there we go. Um, Done a few beers from Lidl recently. Uh, on the bounce. Um, and obviously, because I've got a lot of beers from a certain area of the country, um, I'm trying to filter the supermarket beers straight in because um, otherwise I'm brewing, I'm reviewing like 20 beers from one region of the country. And... Uh, you know, literally, it gets to the stage where, you know, it only appeals to, like, a few people. Um, maybe. But there we go. So, aroma. Mm. So, not quite like the other Weiss beers that I, I have uh, reviewed. Um... It's a very, very muted aroma. Um, I got a touch of vanilla a minute ago, which I've never had from any of these Weiss beers yet. Yeah, like a bit of fruitiness, a bit of vanilla. I'm not getting bananas, esters, and that sort of thing, you know, uh, similar to a Belgian experience, but in a, in a Weiss beer. Um, no. So quite different. It looks very similar to what you would I would have expected from a wise beer. Well, yeah. Uh a slight cardboard taste to it. Yeah, I'm not joking. Flipping cardboard. What the hell's that about? Uh, I've not had this in years. It's been years since I touched this. Not really absolutely being honest. Uh, apart from just in the last month or so, not really my uh, cup of tea and go-to style, you know. But I've embraced, you know, going back into supermarket beers this year. Certainly embraced going back into also into German beers or German, supposedly German beers, uh, <clears throat> like this is. Right, this, this is very different. Um, if I'm looking at all the beers I've had so far, this is the only one at the, at the German offerings, so, or so, even so-called German offerings, that is, is, at the moment, disappointing. Again, 
nasty twang of cardboard, taste of cardboard, what you'd expect from possibly a beer that's been put in a white, you know, a clear bottle, uh, not exactly a beer in, a, in what is um, a brown bottle. Um, and yet, as you know, with this channel, I do positive reviews. I'm not there to slag down a beer or, or anything, but yeah, this is not, on the second gulp, it's not doing well for me. Um, but we'll give it, we'll go to the end, you know. It's not about pouring a beer after the first couple of sips. Oh, that's what we yeah. I got away from doing that years ago. I, I want to endure it. I've paid for the beer anyway, so I might as well endure it. And again, bland. Compared to every other of the Weiss beers that I've had, it's very, very bland uh, tasting. Um, Definitely got that cardboardy taste. Um, yeah. yeah, well, how disappointing is that? <laughs> but with all beers, you know, you've got to give it a chance. There's a chance that you may have drank something before. Your taste buds may need to... Um, develop to warm to the beer you know some beers aren't great straight out of the can or a bottle even you know some beers you know you need to give them a chance as it were um and see if it grows on you <laughs> and if it don't grow on you then yeah you're quite right in the first place it's crap and you won't buy it again uh at this moment in time um this is uh, not a good uh, German slash beer. Um, oh. Blooming weather again, chucking it down. Um, I swear this time last year it was after it's like the minute you open your gob and say September is the new summer all of a sudden chucks it down the bloody temperature drops and September is what you'd expect September to be which is part of autumn instead of being you know summer and uh, yeah it's certainly uh, developed that way um, Oh. So I'm going to let it breathe and I'm, I'm going to hope it gets better because at the moment it's crap. Yeah, absolute crap. There's literally... If I... If I I'll bring Erdinger into the, into the fold. Erdinger, I got lots of uh, aroma and flavours that I'd expect also from like the likes of Bel Belgian beers, all these fruity banana esters, possible bubblegum, you know, all them sort of things. With this, cardboard. Um, fucking cardboard. What's cardboard about? How the hell do you get cardboard in the bloody beer? Um, We'll see how the aroma gets. Um, if I'm being honest, the aroma has improved. So we are nine minutes into the review and the aroma's improved. So does that tell you that you need to let the beer breathe? You know, it doesn't say that on the bottle, you know, so you won't get that from the bottle saying, let, let it breathe. We're gonna, we're gonna enjoy the lot. Uh, 
well, I'm not sure if enjoy is the right word, but uh, as you can see, it's got the same um, hazy, orangey-ish pour that the likes of Erding and other Weiss beers have. Um, now, I suppose you could put it into a wide neck glass to really get the air to the beer. So is this, is the glass at fault? Um, but no, tasting cardboard, surely the glass isn't at fault for that. Um, you know, in the, any grand scheme of things. Right, there's a bit more fruitiness to it now than there was earlier. But literally 10, 11 minutes into the review nearly. The initial front end was better, but the back end went to a bland cardboard finish. Cardboard, what the bloody hell? And why the bloody hell am I even tasting cardboard in a beer? Um, yeah. Um, shouldn't be getting it. That's the that's the answer to that question. Should not be getting that. <clears throat> Last bit of the bowl. Patronus. Still reminds me of Harry Potter. Expecto Patronum. And uh, oh. I absolutely love Harry Potter. And uh, I mean, I've been to the Harry Potter world in near London and uh, near Watford. Uh, and I've been, you know, Orlando in the theme park. Uh, I've not been to the second part of the theme park because we haven't been since, you know. Um, and the funny thing is, um, Mr. Mark, the pondering man, uh, did actually say if you spend £100 a week on beer, that, you know, 5,000 quid, and you're quite right, mate, you know, not every week do we spend £100 on beer, mind you, but, uh, you know, sometimes it's less than 40. But uh, if you do spend that, uh, you know, five grand, that's a holiday. And, you know, but then that's... And there's the balance. Um, and we've done this in the past. We've been out literally four times in a year. And I do mean gone drinking four times in a year. And this was in the day when I did not do beer reviews, did not drink a lot. And I worked at Sainsbury's and I got most of my beer for such a cheap price. Like most bottles of beer like this were 50 pence. And, and I wasn't even drinking a deal in the back in the day. Uh, I'd even I'd even stopped home brewing because I couldn't couldn't could not brew a beer cheaper than what I could buy a beer from the supermarket uh, because of you know um, damaged cases and uh, <laughs> uh, beers that we didn't sell, wines that we didn't sell. They were, they were great days. Them five years at Sainsbury's. Oh, they were the best. They were some great days. There were some fucking arseholes along the way. You know, some little twats who, you know, made into team leaders, giving it the shit. And you're like, I do my work, dickhead. Fuck off and do your own work. Um, <clears throat> and then they tried to bully you into going on tills. Tills aren't for me, serving people. I'm all right on the shop floor dealing with the public uh, and filling, you know, doing the shelf filling and all that. But face to face with some of the miserable swines that you get on tills, no, no, no. That's why I don't do it where I am now. You know, I do gardening. I keep myself to myself. Uh, I can be super sociable, super sociable. I could run a micro pub. I know I could. 
I could talk to people about beer all day long. Arseholes, no. No. Can't do it, won't do it, not having, not happening. So, here we are, 15 minutes into the review, and again, I can tell the wife's not home tonight. Another long review. And uh, what you've got to say is good head retention. Hazy pour, good head retention. Let's check the nose out. It's had plenty of time to breathe now. And although it's not anywhere near as good as other wise beers, there is a good nose on it compared to what it was earlier. So the nose has developed the aromas, the what you would call bananas and that sort of aroma has developed. Yeah. Uh, the looks are good. The aromas improved massively. It was very, very muted on the first pour. So still getting that cardboard back end. But the, for the most part, it's actually more a pleasurable drink now. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that now. And the good thing is, no work tomorrow. Oh, brilliant. Do you know, it's so, so in nice not to have to go to work. I've had a summer, a long, long, hard spring and summer. And obviously now into autumn. And I've literally had no days off. Uh, I've gone home early on a Friday afternoon, but I've already done the hours, you know. And the effort and the work that's gone in, you know. Uh, if only everybody at my workplace did the same. And didn't just use it as an easy job. Oh, it's an, e it's an easy job, mate. Easy job. And, uh, yeah. Um, and then they wonder why no work, the work's not going done. But there you go. Can't win them all. Um... Positives, um, open it up, give it time to breathe, pour it, give it 10 minutes, you'll get the best of it. Initially, straight away, you'll get a very poor nose and cardboard taste. And, you know, I can taste it, you should be able to taste it. Uh, is this just a one-off bottle? I don't know. I don't drink it regularly enough to even know about that. Um, if you drink it all the time, you um, may well not really notice the cardboardy bit. You will notice the fruity bits, which is fair play. You know, you'll get what you get. We all get what we get from beers and lagers and whatnot. Um, would I drink this again? No, not for a while. No, it's going to be a couple of years. I've done my beer review this year. Uh, I won't come back to it for a few years, but that is what it is. That's my opinion. Uh, out of five, um, thankfully, it got better. Uh, that cardboard and no aroma at the start was an absolute killer. If I'd have done a three, four minute review, I'd have absolutely slated it, absolutely battered it. As it is, because I've done a 20 minute review, or near on, uh, it's gave it time to breathe, Yes, the glass might be an issue. If, if you want to pick fault about, oh, you should could have used a wider glass. Yep, but I'll give it 20 minutes. You know, if it was a four minute review, fair dues. 20 minute review, it's had plenty of time to breathe on, on two scales. Um, as it is, 
yeah, the aroma has got much, much better. Not quite Erdinger, but for the price you pay, reasonable. And the taste right until the back end, then there's that, there's this bit of cardboard that seems to come in for whatever reason. And uh, yeah, just kills it right at the back end. Uh, for me, a 4.0 out of 5, it redeemed itself only because the length of the review. And that is my review. Um, be interesting to see what you think. If you rev if you drink it regular, do you agree? Do you disagree? You know, did I get a duff bottle? It does happen. Um, it'd be interesting to see what people's um, own reviews are. You know, no one can tell you how to review the beer that you've drank. You know, you either like it or don't like it, or you're on the wall or or like me, you needed to give it a lot of time for it to, to come out. Uh, it's interesting. And uh, it's absolutely bloody chucking it down. Uh, thank you for watching. And uh, we'll see you soon.